Setting up Engage Fees is very simple and easy. So I've come into Fees and I'm expanding that and I'm selecting Setup and in Nominal Codes. So schools can import their nominal codes via a CSV file and then all nominal codes are displayed in a grid and fees can be posted to Engage accounts. So the system also supports file uploads to external accounting systems. I can add a new nominal code by selecting add new button, enter the code description, and then finally select save. The next step here are the cost centers and departments, which provide an optional level of analysis for schools. They can represent subjects, year groups, departments, or faculties, helping schools track and analyze income by category. And these cost centers are also available within Engage accounts. So I've selected departments, I select add new, and then I can add in the code and the description and then select save to add in a new department. Next comes the country list. And so a number of countries are available. The country, fee pays country isn't available, you select UK. And then what this allows schools to do is enter their bank details. And then this can be used for direct debits. So you can see the bank details have been entered there. And at the top of the screen, the school's running three key accounts, the current account, the deposit account, and the petty cash account. If we then look at the runs menu item, which displays how often fee payers are billed during the school year. So I'm selecting 2025, 20, 2026, and then parents can now be charged each term, autumn, spring, and summer. Alternatively, I can also select annually here. Next come the payment profiles page, mainly designed for the direct debit payments. So parents can still pay by cash, cheque or bank transfer, only direct debit generates a bank file. So details of other payment methods are recorded for future reference and analysis by the school. The parent default section stores fee payer information. So parents or fee payers have to be set up here to be invoiced. Down the bottom here is the non-contact payer option, which allows schools to assign invoice addresses to companies or third parties paying on behalf of students or pupils. For divorced parents, the link contact feature enables their accounts to be linked, so both names appear on the invoice while each retains a separate portal login. And then finally, the charging discount structure is where all payment amounts are defined. You can export and import this data to update amounts and apply changes within the system.